Hi everyone, it's Miss Malinsky here. Today I'm going to show you a science experiment where we are going to make some moon dough. It's very similar to Play-Doh and I thought if you made some at home, you could use it to practice your letters and shapes like we did during stations at school. Parents, this is also a really good way for your kids to practice their fine motor skills. So it's only a few ingredients. We have a conditioner for your hair and some cornstarch. I also read online that instead of conditioner, you can also use lotion. So if you want, you can try that as well. I also have some food coloring here that I'm going to use to make my Mundo pink. So what you need is two cups of cornstarch and one cup of conditioner or lotion. So two cups of cornstarch, one cup of conditioner, and then you just use your hands to mix it up. Ooh, very gooey. And then we're also going to add a few drops of the food coloring after you mix it up a little bit. Thank you, Sam. Let's make some pink Mundo. You're just going to keep on mixing it up with your hands. It's a little messy, but that's part of the fun, right? Mix it all up. You can see it's starting to get a little sticky. Oops. <laughs> a little more pink. Oh boy. <laughs> and if you feel like you might need just a little more conditioner, feel free to add some. That'll just make it softer anyway, so no harm in that. You can see it's looking a lot better now, a lot more familiar. More like Play-Doh. You can use it to get the rest off your hands and just keep on mixing. Ooh, look at that texture. <laughs> what a beautiful light pink we have. I wish you could feel this right now. It's so crazy soft. And there you have it. When you're not using your Mundo, it's important to keep it in an airtight container so that it doesn't dry out as quickly as it would otherwise. Now I'm going to show you an activity that you can do with your kids using the Mundo. So one activity that we used to do at our stations was we would have a letter written on a piece of paper and I'd instruct the kids how to build it. So for example, we have capital A here, where you could use a little bit of Mundo, instruct your child to make a worm of it, maybe bend that worm in half to make a point at the top. Then we need to have a little bit of a line across. So we're gonna make a baby worm, put it in the middle. There you have your mama A, or capital A. Then we're gonna get a little more because Mama A has a baby, so we're gonna make that baby A too while we're at it. And again, you can make a little worm, shape it into a circle, and then give it a tail. Ta-da! And that's just a simple, quick activity to practice your letters. You can also do the same thing with shapes by drawing the shapes on a piece of paper and working with your child to build them and name them. 
working on that recognition skill. And again, make sure you put it back in an airtight container.